What up? Alright, so we're going to wait for a couple people to get in here before we go ahead and get started. I'm going to go ahead and try to find some music. Let's get off of Spotify, first of all. Copyright Central. And move over to iTunes. Alright, so let's find something we could play here. What up, Chunk? <laughs> Cracker. Alright, let's see here. What song should we play? Let's go to some DJ JD. I'll play you guys some vocals. Actually, I'll play you guys some vocals first. We'll do that. What up, Chad? Dr. Green Thumb. Alright, so let's find a good vocal track here. I'm going to play you strictly vocals first. Let me turn the bass knob down. Okay. Just to let you know, that's not my sub. That's my amp with the fan that used to be in the car, keeping it cooled. It's just a 100 watt plate amp, but it's put in some work. I haven't ran at 4 ohm, which is a lot for those amps. So normally, I think they're supposed to be at 8 ohm, but this one is pretty stable down to 4. What up? What's going on? All right. All right. Let's do this. now. <laughs> it 
It was sitting right there. Okay, so now we got a little bit of a uh, bass action going. Why is it saying very bad connection? I am actually inside. Oh, wait a second. Hang on. I'm going to pause for one second. I'm going to make sure I'm connected to my home Wi Fi, not my garage Wi Fi. One second. Okay, that explains. For some reason, it had me connected to my garage Wi Fi. So, should be way better now. But. Here's the setup. For the mids and highs, we got, a, these are my old door speakers and door pods actually. Um, we got Crescendo UN8s, these are, we got two of them. Uh, these are the 4 ohm, and we got two 4 ohm FT1 blacks. Uh, they ran off of a, they are actually ran at 2 ohms per channel on a 2 channel. Uh, they're getting about 30 watts a set, so 60 watts. Um, not very much, but it is louder than most vehicles I've heard. But lately, I think my amp might be going because it seems to be like distorting a little bit more. Um, I haven't really like played it like loud lately, so I haven't noticed. But I might just have to swap the amps out. I got a, like three of them, so that ain't a big deal. Um, the sub is under my bed. It's like right behind these drawers down there. Um, so many notifications of subscribing. <laughs> Alrighty then, I hope you don't mean that, but okay. James Falvey. Um, you actually don't need to unsubscribe to get rid of the notifications, but if that's what you want to do, then go for it. Ain't bothering me. Anyways. Under the, under the bed I got one Rockford. It's a P110. Um, ran on the uh, JVC 100 watt play amp, ran at 4 ohms, and it's in a 2.5 cubic foot ported enclosure uh, from Jester. It's, I think, tuned to like like 29 or something. <laughs> but anyways, plays pretty low. I'll play some like, I think it plays down to about 26 from what my room can respond with. Um, the room definitely makes a huge difference when it comes to house uh, low frequency response the more dampening it seems like the better response let's see here oh I don't want to play that Four fifteens. damn <laughs> how's it sound in your room that's gonna be freaking insane I almost thought of taking six twelves and lining up the hole under my bed just like the car doing the same enclosure and everything but then I need like a like at least a 5k. Spin on these racks and I go crazy. Leave out the parking lot doing a one night. Just how the Lord made me. Told the top and start sunbathing. Put her on the treadmill and then I make a run naked. Got on my side hole frustrated. This the life I waited though. Seen the bit from school. Gave her a number to a pay phone. I don't know what you've been waiting on. All I know is I waited long. I ain't waiting to get no long. Provolone on top of provolone. Mobile phone on top of mobile phone. It's the new way. That's actually funny because I thought about doing like a wall in here, um, but you know, what's really the point? Um, I wanted to do like take my closet because this is all like storage, like here's all my audio storage and my shoes, um, but this is where all of my smaller audio boxes are, um, not including what's outside. Uh, product, product up there, product, uh, this is all my shit, um, tools electronics all in here uh, here's another Rockford p18 that I got from Jester also but anyways yeah I thought about maybe like making the enclosure like come up to about here that's about three foot and then make it fill in the hole inside there and do like a fourth make the port about this wide uh, same port area um, yeah, and then I'd probably do, yeah, probably about 215s, probably one over here, one over here, uh, do like a 
giant ass ratio or something. I don't know. But that'd be badass. But at the same time, you know, what's really the point? It's not like I, not like I could show it to anybody. So it'd just be for personal use. Maybe it'd be more for like testing because I make my own music. Um, here's my folder. I make my own music, so that's really the only reason why I wanted something louder in here that responds lower, so I can start making better music for myself. Um, but we'll play some of the shit that I made, like this one. setup is I built this thing years ago and I just like keep updating it as much as I can wow why is the stream fluctuating so much anyways it is a cooler master cosmos cosmos se um case I got the we're gonna start off at the top I put in this switch it was for uh an led strip that was in here but I removed it this thing's got to get cleaned it's about time uh, got the NZXT Sentry 2 touchscreen fan controller. I can control my fan speeds, which it should be all the way up right now. Uh, the Asus DVD drive, nothing special about that. Got tool, uh, dual 120s in the front, um, with a on-off switch for the LEDs. Moving inside, got a GTX 970, um, the super clocked by EVGA. Uh, it's got the metal back plate and everything. I think this is the one that came with it. Um, I got it like a year after it came out for like 150 bucks. So a guy used it for a year till the 10 series came out. And I was like, all right, fuck it. Uh, we got 16 gigs of Corsair Vengeance DDR3. Um, Intel i7-4770K overclocked to, I think, 4 or maybe 3.5. But, um, yeah, this is... The 4770K is an older processor. It was like the best at the time when I built this. But now, uh, like two years after I built this, Intel started designing their 6 core and their 8 core. So, yeah, it's a little outdated now, but it still does everything that I ask it to. Corsair GS800 power supply. Got an Intel 530 SSD, uh, 120 gig. And then we got down there a Western Digital Black, one terabyte hard drive storing all my music, my games, and videos, and all that shit. Uh, motherboard is an MSI Z87 G55. Um, that's about it, another 120 millimeter down there. That fan right there is actually from a 5500. That's uh, the fans that come stock behind the uh, back plate. And I had a ton of them laying around, so I took one and mounted it on my hard drives because my bottom hard drive actually gets a little warm. And that was like the hottest point in here. Yeah, that's right. If it's not broke, don't fix it. Um, supports USB 3. Pretty sure you guys probably assumed that already. I did the, all the LED lighting. It goes from my desk all the way to her desk. Uh, she's got a computer over there too. Um, this is a Vizio. It's a 1080p uh, LED screen. It's a TV. Uh, I just use it for this because I want to switch to LED. I love the way it looks compared to um, the LCD. Uh, this is actually one of her three. Mine is down there, but I got pissed one day and I think I punched it. And no, I threw I threw the mouse at it and shattered it. So yeah, I have a I have I've always done that. You know, as a kid and shit too, I break shit all the time because I get pissed because it don't work right. But um, I'm just borrowing that for now. That's going to go back over there as soon as I find something equivalent because that's all I, I think that's the most I could fit on here. Um, that's a 19 uh, Acer, X9, X, Acer X193W. Um, this is a 20 inch HP. So, And then I got my TV up here. It's linked to that monitor. So would I want to watch TV or play games, whatever. Um, keyboard. 
I think this is the... Shit, I forgot. I know this is the Razor Death Adder. I think this is the Black Widow. Um, let's see, what else am I missing here? Oh, the Razor Goliath, this mouse, mouse pad. Uh, cheap eBay Bluetooth headset for like two bucks. Works like shit. <laughs> um, Nendo logo if you guys haven't seen it yet. Uh, this is for wireless Xbox controller. Uh, so you can connect it to your computer. Xbox vision camera. Um, I think that's about it though. Uh, the, here's the amps. This was running my sub back before I got this one. Um, and back behind there is another one of these amps. These are two channel amp, like 50 watt max. Um, well not really max, like 50 watt RMS. Uh, two channels. The other one's running these. I almost thought about running them separate channels. Uh, you know, two amps. One amp for this side, one amp for that side. But I don't know how much more louder it'll get. Then I'll have to get another power supply. You know, yada, yada, yada. You know, it goes on. Got a little fan I mounted down there. Um, otherwise, that's about it. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. So, two separate channels. Yeah, I probably will. It's just my, uh, I have a power strip mounted down here to the bracing, and I already have all of the outlets taken up, so I'd have to sacrifice something to do that, but I hardly ever play it loud, so that's why I'm really not too concerned about it, but I do like to play it loud when I'm cleaning in here, so especially when I got the vacuum going, I'm trying to go over the vacuum, but I got some horrible news, and I got some good news with the car which I'll go over probably in a later live stream, uh, probably probably later tonight. But just wanted to show you guys this because I know you guys, a couple people have been asking, so fair I make the video now while I'm not doing nothing. Getting ready to go get some repairs done on the car, which is the bad news, which I'll go over that later. Um, hopefully it can get fixed. It actually damaged a ton of shit, so I'll go over that later on this afternoon. But otherwise, that's it for now. I'll probably catch you guys. I gotta go there at 3, so. Probably catch you guys after 3, probably like 4 or 5, maybe. But, anyways, be sure to tune in around 5 o'clock. I'm gonna give you guys some good and bad news. The good news is really exciting. It's coming up literally in a couple days. I cannot wait. But, otherwise, I'll catch you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy.